Welcome to Six Sigma Mania. There are several project types available in Lean Six Sigma methodology. Let's review each method one by one. By the end of this video, you will understand when and how to use each of these methods. Template with each section description is available under the video for free. Continuous improvement is an approach to be a little better every day. It is ceaseless and endless work on habits, processes, knowledge, or any human activity. We do incremental steps to reach desired excellence state. You may ask, why we should be trying every day to reach excellence? Answer is, to make life or work environment easier, safer, faster, and in the end, to earn more money with less effort. The most important step in this method is involving as largest as possible part of organization on improvements. Larger group, more opportunities identified, more on hands, and faster progress to the desired state. Great tool supporting continuous improvement in the organization is Continuous Improvement Board. People submits ideas via cards. The one who submits idea is called initiator. He ideally describes his solution vision. Important is that idea is reviewed with team affected by possible change. Idea is then assigned to the owner. It can be engineer, maintenance person, production member, or initiator himself. Initiator and owner will agree on solution and estimates due date and they follow up until solution implementation. Solution can be presented to supervision to be recognized. Quick win is fast solution for easy problem. They are first changes to be implemented. It can show a commitment of the project team to improve. Idea behind this is to work easier as fast as possible. Quick wins are helping to build positive problem solving environment. Quick wins requires no or very limited investment. Small team involved and implementation within few days or weeks. These fast changes are signs of lean culture being well implemented. Let me share you some advices for lean culture implementation. Build positive atmosphere for improvements. Encourage team members often to work on their processes. Challenge people to deliver at least two to three ideas during a year. Show commitment and generate your improving ideas. Lead by example. Quick wins ideas can be submitted verbally. But it is still good to have some tracking. CI board can be a good tool. I also use task lists to track ideas during the project. Team identifies quick wins and address them as a highest priority. Process improvement is required if failing or malfunctioning process. Signs of failing process can be not satisfied customer or following process step. High quality escapes, growing discrepancy rate, late deliveries to committed date. slowly moving parts or information between work cells or departments process accompanied by high costs slow growth or stagnation important is that problem is unknown as well as solution six sigma demaic method is a robust method used for process improvements define measure analyze improve and control are its phases each phase has set of tools it is larger group effort to improve current state by understanding it Improvements are targeted based on data analysis. It improves repeatability by reducing variations. There is available tool list I have developed during years for demaic projects. Not all two are required to be used all the time. List is available on my blog or under the video. Process design is next project type. Dmat V, sometimes called Dmedi, helps with developing new, not existing processes. DMADV acronym stands for define, measure, analyze, design or develop, verify or validate. DMADI stands for define, measure, explore, develop, implement. Five main phases, two different acronyms, but the same method. DMADV acronym is globally more preferred, so I will use it too. As the same as DMAIC, DMADV is a set of tools. You can develop any new process, design new feature, product or build a new service. You do it by exploring each phase by using tools one by one in the order I will share in a minute. Each phase is very important to go through and finish it. DMADV should be a team effort. The structure of the project team is the same as on improving projects. There is a project leader, project sponsor, project team, stakeholders, process owner. Each team member has specific and important role. There is available tool list I have developed during years for DMADV projects. List is available on my blog for free or under the video. 
Value Stream Transformation (VST) is a method that will help reach desired state faster. Key tool here is Value Stream Mapping. Value Stream is all the actions required to bring a product through all required processes. First, from raw material to customer in the case of products. Second, from concept to launch in the case of design. Value Stream Map helps to understand connections between Value Stream single processes, visualize material and information flow through those processes, and how they are linked together. To improve Value Stream function is not an easy task. It can take several months to pass through improvement steps. It requires good method to be followed, experienced project leader, dedicated team effort, and about six to nine months of work. But the result it worth it. Value just flows through Value Stream. This is the list I follow on my value stream transformation projects. There are four phases. Stabilize, flow, pull, and level. Each phase have several steps. Understanding of current and future state is done in the stabilize phase. Flow phase is mainly about machine and manpower capacities and balancing them. Pull phase is about scheduling products through value stream. Level phase helps with improvement standardization. Last project type is infrastructure implementation. It is about implementing measuring of KPIs and developing documentation describing process. Me personally, I have not used this project type ever. There was always some process improvement required. There will be always deviations between two people in the process if there is no described documentation or measures to be captured. So, use DMIC tool list when running infrastructure improvement. Decide which of those tools can help you. It can be process mapping, value stream mapping, and so on. But I would start with operational definition first to understand what should be real process deliverables. Take a look under the video where you find link to my blog to download project types template and many other Lean Six Sigma templates. Use it, share it. If you find this video helpful, give us a like and do not forget to subscribe. Have a great days.